What's up, Ego Hackers? Welcome to the CS Joseph Podcast. I'm your host, CSJ, and today we're going to be discussing how can INTJs basically show appreciation to ENTPs. Uh, it's a question that I've gotten a few times, but I think it would probably be more useful to just talk about how they can show appreciation in general, knowing what we know about the INTJ uh, archetype, etc. And I understand many of you in the audience are like, why aren't you going to talk about other types? Okay, I'm getting there. Like, I have an ESTP video coming around the corner. It may actually be even be filmed today, but like, hang in there. It's coming. Thank you for your patience. Like, seriously, thank you for your patience. Uh, that being said, uh, INTJs often, because of SI Demon, they have this problem where they have self-neglect and because of that they uh, neglect themselves which causes them to be ugly which causes uh, people to abandon them and this is true of men or women in terms of like the ugliness and I'm not necessarily talking about ugliness in terms of aesthetics it could be just anything it could be poor performance because they just don't sleep for example and uh, they have this huge self-neglect problem and it creates problems and then it causes others to abandon them and the INTJ naturally accuses those people of abandon them, abandoning them and then they end up hating them and then they end up taking revenge out on the person even though it was the INTJ's poor performance the entire time because they just, for some reason, like to ignore their needs and focus only on their wants. And then to add insult to injury, uh, in terms of the FE users in their life that need to have some aspect of appreciation from INTJs, well, those FE users end up suffering and they don't get that appreciation, which causes the FE users to respond in kind by covert contract or manipulating the INTJ to at least get something out of the INTJ after the FE users have gone out of their way to support said INTJ the entire time. And this ends up causing the INTJ to basically be a black hole of effort without any reciprocation of any kind and thus causes people to ultimately avoid the INTJ because eventually that INTJ will have that reputation for doing so. That's like a really crappy way of living life. All the while, the INTJ likes to listen to their TI critic uh, echo chamber in their heads and sit around in the shadows or be alone or at home or not go out anywhere and then they just blame people for their own problems and if they just went out of their way to not be so self-neglectful uh, with their SI demon then actually they may have good relationships with people and a good social life and people might like you know actually like them that's that's a thing so with that uh, being said um, they need to make sure that they are guarding themselves against such problems and that they actually can show appreciation to those FE users in some capacity. And this really comes down to gratitude. The problem is, is most INTJs have this thing called FI child's superiority complex where they actually believe they're more superior than everybody else around them. The reality of the situation is they're not and oftentimes they're actually falling behind everywhere else because of their own uh, their lack of self-respect due to self-neglect, their bad self-neglect habit. And uh, this, this basically makes them repulsive people to be around when they are behaving this underdeveloped and this immature in their life. And guess what? I don't care what INTGA you are, you all do this. I don't care how mature you are, you all do this in some capacity. It's just you do it less as you get older, but that doesn't mean you still don't have a self-neglect problem. And the reality of the situation is, is that you need to have people in your life holding you accountable to the point where you respect those people, you want those people around, but those people will abandon you. You know full well that they will abandon you because of your self-neglect. And they will tell you, and they will, you will lose status with them very much, and you actually want to keep them around. The thing is, is that if you're not going to go around finding people that you want to have around, well, and because you're still blaming people or society for your problems instead of realizing that it's you having self-neglect because you're not you don't know how to take care of yourself or you're not properly taking care of yourself or you lack self-respect, etc. that can be an issue as well. And that's really inhibiting your ability to show gratitude or appreciation to other people. And all of a sudden, like, I'm getting texts and that's just literally stupid right now. Let me actually turn on the do not disturb. I don't, like, wow, that's terrible. Anyway, so with that, uh, with that also... Um, if I child superiority complex really gets in the way and it needs to humble itself. And when it's humbled 
it can actually start showing gratitude. And it needs to do so in a way that's actually useful instead of them cutting shortcuts, which means they actually have to go out of their way uh, to um, uh, put in more effort. INTJs are notorious for cutting corners in life. This includes with gift giving or even showing up or managing other people's attention. They expect to have everyone else's attention, but they're not willing to give their attention to anyone. And they end up lacking attention to detail. And because of triple movement, they just always want that quick fix. So if they know that their FI child is like, okay, yeah, I do need to show appreciation. I do need to show gratitude or I'm going to lose this friend. But then they actually do something, but it, it fails. It's actually like terrible. They, they do a really bad job. It's, and it's like, it's almost like an ENTP being depraved and doing the absolute lowest effort uh, thing to be able to get that done. Well, guess what? They have ENTP shadow and they're doing the minimum effective dose as the ENTP Timothy Ferris would say, um, they, they're not they're not willing to go the extra mile. The INTJ is not willing to go the extra mile. And so their their gratitude or their appreciation literally falls on deaf ears. And then they get upset that it has fallen on deaf ears and those people abandon them anyway. Because like, well, I did this effort. But it's like, yeah, but you didn't do enough. And I've done like way more effort for you than you ever have for me. So how about you actually wake up? Because for some reason through cognitive projection, uh, INTJs think that because they neglect themselves, they can neglect other people. And this really pisses off their golden pair, the ENTP, as well as INTP, but ENTP especially, and also their bronze pair, the ESFJ. We have expert intuition optimistic with our hero and our child functions, which means we want to be wanted. We never want to be neglected. We won't stand for neglect. And just because you INTJs like to neglect yourselves does not mean you get to neglect us. And if that ends up happening, not only will we abandon you, but we will straight up betray you and we will harm your status, your reputation and your future. And we will have that revenge and exact that revenge consistently over a long period of time and sometimes you know revenge is a uh, dish best served cold gotta love that cold icy sword of truth that cold justice that'll be waiting for you in 10 years and you have no idea it's coming and you won't be able to see it coming right so just understand that if you trifle with people especially with crusader types which you're built for you will be served a nice cold plate of justice if you can't change your ways. So I suggest you change your ways. Stop neglecting yourself. That is step one. Step two, put in more effort. Seriously, put in a lot more effort when you are giving or when you're putting it, when you're performing. Like seriously, stop with the shortcuts. We see through all of it. We see through all your shortcuts and it just causes us to think that you don't actually care, that you're just trying to do, do easy street or take the easy route and it is not even remotely meaningful. We want to see you INTJs be meaningful and not expedient because that is what caused us to be loyal to you to begin with. But if you're not going to stay meaningful, guess what? We're going to take our attention and go elsewhere because from our crusader standpoint, sometimes we uh, like to play God with our TI and, uh, you know, uh, like to pretend that we know who deserves what. We, regardless of that, will think to ourselves, wow, the INTJ does not deserve our attention or our loyalty or our consistency or our steadfastness or our endurance or fortitude. We're going to go elsewhere because they are so categorically failing on a consistent basis. So follow those steps uh, to success with showing appreciation and gratitude to crusaders in your life, especially your golden pair and bronze pair, ENTP and ESFJ, because they need it the most because they have optimistic expert intuition. And uh, if you do that, you will have a lot more success in your relationships. If you found this video useful, helpful, educational to you, please subscribe to the channel and help us get to 100,000 subs. That would be awesome. Uh, and uh, why not share it? That would be cool. Hit the alarm bell so that uh, we can end up going, uh, you know, when I go live that you, like, actually show up. That would be also awesome. And, like, for some reason, my wife is, like, texting me a million times because that's what she does. She just likes to oftentimes uh, demand my attention because my SE hero, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, folks, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tonight.